Early in 1957, the factory dispatched two racing cars to driver Hollow Shea in New Jersey. After the 1957 season, the trail of these cars goes cold. To this day, it remains one of the greatest mysteries of racing in the United States. This year, marking the 60th anniversary of the 300 SL Roadster, the decision was made to create a 300 SLS tribute car. We wanted to get as close to the real thing as we possibly could with an existing 300 SL Roadster that we started with. We're doing this at a factory restoration level. We're able to go back and search through records, archives, blueprints, the materials, the processes. We try to stay as true to the original as we possibly can. I'm not an artist, I'm a restorer, so my job is to make it look like I was never there. If I've done my job right at the end of the day, that it looks like what the factory had built in the 1950s. In 1957, Laguna Seca opened its doors and the 300 SLS and Paul O'Shea were there on the very first race. A vintage automobile is a time machine. Especially when we put on the racing suit, we put on the vintage helmet, we put on the goggles, and transport back to 1957, and just for a brief moment, experience what it must have been like back then.